All right, this is video number two on the dust collection analysis with the cube. So the first thing I've noticed here when I switch back to the stock face is of course there's this huge gap here and it's unsupported and it almost feels not safe. You know, I was using this cube for the backing. That's where all the action take place, takes place. So it's basically the whole philosophy behind our zero clearance here is to have support and uh, just have it the best right there where the action takes place. So it already feels a little bit weird, but that is okay. We're going to go for it and we're going to see the dust collection. This is the same angle uh, that I had with the other one to start with. So... already know, you already know how the Capex picks up the dust. It did a fantastic job there. Um, as to comparable with the cube, we're going to find that out after we make a couple cuts. So we're going to have, go. we'll go with just a little bit different. I think the next one I did on the previous video was a 30 degree. We're going to do the same thing. all saw that but I just had my piece of oak go shooting over there my wife's taking the video so you know that could have hit her with the cube that wouldn't have happened so let's go one more we did three cuts on the last let's do three cuts here that last one and I know you all full well we'll just do a comparison Once again, I'll dig that out. Uh, of course, very little to no dust here. I would say yes, I'll grab that video. Uh, I say yes, there is less, less dust, but there still is some dust. So I would say there's not a huge difference. You all decide for yourselves, but I would say there's not a huge difference in regard to the dust collection. There is some difference, but not a huge difference. Uh, I hope this helps.